I'm working the car queue today. Um, I want to show you guys something a little bit special. Let me get that and show you. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna set the height of cut on this. I'm gonna sh um, talk about this a bit more in depth and what Liam has done to this. So Liam from Sydney Cylinder Mowers um, in Sydney, as you could have guessed, has done a restoration on this mower for me and it is absolutely awesome. Like it looks so mint, man. I'll run you guys through who helped out with this build as well once we've set the height of cut on this. Um, just to say who was involved in it, because I want to say a huge thank to everyone who helped out with this um, rover. This is the first cylinder mower that I had at my place in town with the ryegrass, so a bit of a special mower to me. So I'm really thankful that these guys did this for me, and it looks pure. I don't even want to use it, it looks so good. But let's set the height of cut. Um, take the catcher off, which this catcher, by the way, was made by Old Time Parts, and it is heavy, man, which is good. Add a bit of extra weight to the mower to keep it down, which is awesome. So we'll lean it back. We're going to set our height of cut. So if you guys asked about this last week, um, about this accu gauge that I've got here. So this one here is from the guys at Amicron Golf and Turf. So check out their website if you like, and you can grab yourself one of these. Expensive, um, but I love this thing. Really, really, really love this thing. Now let's just see what height of cut this thing is currently set to. Right, 27 mil, 25. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but you can see it says 25 mil, 25.97 actually, 24 sorry. So if we just turn the dial, look at this, we can get a bang on 25 mil with this thing. Bruh, whoa, which is so good. And obviously that's moved because that's moving up and down. But as you can see, as that moves up and down, it adjusts that. Beautiful. All right, let's just get an old bit of paper and see how it cuts. Yes, delicious. Mm. Listen to that, no contact either. Bro, that is just ridiculous. Very nice. So we'll get this mowing in a second. We've got this set for 25 mil. So last week we cut at 24, 23 mil with the that May cylinder mower, which by the way, I put some more oil in it, um, even though it was at the recommended level. We'll put some more oil in it. Actually stop cutting out on the slopes. So there you go. Lesson learned. I saw a few guys write that in the comments. Tried it, worked pretty well. Um, but just want to give a huge shout out again to Liam from Sydney Cylinder Mowers. Make sure you guys check out his Facebook page and his Instagram page. Um, give him some support because this guy is an absolute legend and he has got an eye for detail. I'll tell you what, must have a bit of OCD, man, because <laughs> this thing is pure. Absolutely ridiculous. So let's run through what he's done. So he's told me here, they sandblasted it as they disassembled it, revealed that the chassis rails had no evidence of cracking, which is a good thing, means we can keep this thing going. So we sent it off and got the whole thing powder coated in our Rover Red. So I've had design at dusk, help out with these stickers as you can see all over the place. Stickers absolutely everywhere and I'll tell you what, they look absolutely pure and how cool is the Lawn Tips one there as well. They also made me another sticker that says, yo mate, what up? And just an original Rover looking one as well. We've got stickers all over this thing which have been done by the guys at Design at Dusk and just, they look really, really, really good. So also as you can see, we've got a custom knob here from the guys at Unreal Knob. So shout out to those guys as well. So Liam's also said what he's done, he's done basically an overhaul on this whole thing and gone absolutely nuts with it. So he's replaced every single bearing in here, the clutch cork, every single nut and bolt, nut and bolt, sorry. Upgraded the sprocket chain tensioner, put new chains, new sprockets, um, all new drive line, including a PTO, far out, a new clutch, and a new engine on this thing as well. So this is a ridiculous rebuild, like crazy. Um, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, but I'll put up on the screen the guys who helped out with this. So the guys at Low Fabrications, shout out to them, old time parts, Unreal Knobs, Design at Dusk, um, Mo Parts Oz, which Mo Parts Oz um, helped out with the 
that front roller there as well. I know he does those and a couple other bibs and bobs. I don't know exactly what, um, but I'll have it all up on the screen. Um, VNR Mechanical for giving this thing a beautiful grind and this thing is cutting schmick as well, I'll tell you what. Um, so shout out to all those guys. Really, really appreciate it. Love this mower. Um, I really don't want to use it now. I have to make sure I wash this thing down very well after every mow. At least I'm not going to smack into the side of the house or anything on this block, which is nice. Um, but let's give it its first mow. Let's give it a crack. Sorry I'm stopping that so quickly, but man, this thing cuts clean. Mate, good job on the grinding. That thing is ridiculous. Like those clippings are clean as brew. So clean, man. I do miss using this mower. Nice and lightweight, easy on a slope like this, which is ideal. This might be my mower for this area here just while I'm getting it to come back in. Um, and also, I forgot to mention as well, there is a vulcanized rubber roller on the back there as well. And I'm pretty sure George did that from Mo Parts Oz. Yeah, he's done the vulcanized roller on the back. Mate, it looks, <laughs> it looks pure. Okay, enough talking for now. Let's finish off mowing this area. Let's see how many catches we get off um, since we've raised the height of cut up. So we shouldn't actually get any scalping today either. So this lawn should be looking pretty dang pure apart from the roundup down the front that I did. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to get some a liquid furt mix out today with some of my new products. Um, I will do that if the wind dies down, otherwise I'll do it this afternoon when the wind dies out. We'll see how we go, but let's oh, move. Love it, man. Really, really do love it. Love that rubber roller on the back as well. Such a good idea. Like, when you turn around on the concrete, it doesn't go <laughs> make a massive noise. And, Schnitty, what are you wolfing at, buddy? Come here. Sorry, dog distracted me. He was just wolfing at some birds. It's a tough bloke, I tell you what. <laughs> but yeah, rubber roller is awesome. Just even the new clutch and everything, the new engine, um, obviously the chain sprockets, whatever else they're placed on absolutely everything. It is just running so, so smooth. Like, it is crazy. Feels like a new mower. Technically it is. Um, I love it. This is gonna be my dedicated mower for the Kai Q for a little while. I'm gonna do a couple of experiments on this lawn very soon, which you'll see some videos on very, very soon. Um, but, mate, how good is it? Bruh. Thank you so much, Liam, and everyone else as well that sorted this mower out for me. I love it. Alrighty, so finally getting some liquid furt on this lawn. This will be the first liquid furt I'll ever put on this Kaiku just here. So time to kick this thing back into gear a bit with this new mix that I've got here. So this is my lawn tips mix. There is a spring slash autumn slash summer mix. Plus there's a winter mix as well because in winter you also tend to be pushing so much nutrients as in nitrogen and stuff into it. So we back it off a bit in the winter time with a slightly different mix. Um, but you can see here we've got three products, Nourish, Brilliance, and Vitalizers. So these are all organic products, um, which is the awesome thing about them. But they've got some awesome technology in them, which involves microbes, which you guys know I've gone, I've harped on and on about microbes over the years because of how they make nutrients in your soil readily available and lock a few nutrients in there. Um, and this, this, these products here have some VM3 technology. So basically what that's gonna do for you is it's going to enhance nutrient availability, longevity, and compatibility for def for better turf performance. So it's a product of fermentation that incorporates several beneficial bacteria, trace minerals, and plant stimulants. 
So this is really going to help um, our nutrients in our soil, keep it in there for a little bit longer and just make this stuff work well without too much input. So not super high nitrogen um, or any other nutrients in there because of those microbes, it's really going to enhance it. So if you do want to read any more about them, there's lots and lots of info on the back, info sheets on my website as well that explains how these products work, the breakdown of them all. But this one here, for example, Brilliance is 1% nitrogen, 5% iron. So we're gonna get a good kick of color out of our Brilliance. Um, this one here, which is our Nourish, has got 10% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, and 11% potassium. So it's gonna be like an all round fertilizer mix. And lastly, we've got our Vitalize, which is 1.21% nitrogen, 1.47% potassium, and then 0.1% phosphorus. Um, we've got all our rates on the back, so it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Our area over there is 200 square meters, so we just times whatever these rates are by two. Chuck it down with some water. Um, no need to water it in. If you get rain within two, three, four hours after you apply this, do not stress, but we don't have to water this mix in which is great. I mean, if you, it'd be handy if you got water a couple of days afterwards just to get some of it down, but don't need to water it in. We're doing a liquid fur today. So I'm gonna spray it out. Um, and this should have the lawn kicking by the next video that you guys see. Um, so let's mix it up. All right, so first product we're gonna use here is our Brilliance. We're gonna mix that in. So we're gonna go, we're gonna get a top rate today. So we're gonna go 400 mil per hundred square meter. So 800 mil on the lawn here, only because we want to kick this thing back into gear. So I'd normally only go like half rate or even quarter rate on this size area. Um, but today, we want to kick this back into gear because the lawn needs something after. We've had a, a few scalps in a row because someone got a little bit silly with everything. The nourish we're going to go at we're gonna stick around, probably gonna go half rate with this one here, because it's got a little bit higher nitrogen. Since we've already got some nitrogen out of our brilliance there, we've only got one percent. Actually, let's go, let's go 300 mil per 100 square meter. So we'll put 600 mil out. Now, same, same application rate, 100 to 400 mil. So it really depends on how you're applying. If you're spoon feeding, you go the lower rate. If you wanna give it a big kick of growth, you go the higher rate, if that makes sense, and adjust. So if you're using this on a monthly program, you'd only go half rate. So you'd go 200 mil. You wouldn't go crazy with it. Generally with liquid fertilizers, I like to generally ap apply around every two to three weeks. That's what I aim for. And when it comes to granular ferts, depends on what you're using, um, but most of the ones I use nowadays have some included microbes. So we try to push it to 10, 10 to 12 weeks if, if we can during the growing season. Now, if it's growing quite a lot and you're getting a lot of heat and it breaks down a little bit quicker, you can apply it a little more often as well if you see that your lawn's getting a little bit hungry or amend it with some liquids every th three to four weeks as well if you can. Um, but I always recommend you try, try to use both because you need to get the most out of your lawn. And pairing that alongside with proper watering, regular mowing, your lawn should come up pretty good unless your pH is crazy out of whack. Now for this one here, we're gonna go same rate. We're gonna stick at about three, 300 mil per 100 square meters. And again, I'd apply this mix through the growing season, three to four, five weeks. You just, you've really got to look how your lawn's responding to it and go from there, but as a baseline, monthly. Mmm, that's beautiful. That's nice and strong. I'm gonna get my gum boots on. Because we've got some iron in there. And then let's spray it. So the good thing about this mix as well is you can actually put it on your plants um, on top of that. So if you've got a little bit left over, which I do, chuck on your plants, give them a little bit of a kick of growth, some nutrients, um, and a bit of color too. So we're gonna do the plants and then that's about it. All right, all done. That stuff stinks, which is always a good sign. Brings back memories of putting liquid vert down. I'm glad I'm finally starting to do that with this lawn. Man, the color is gonna kick in in the next couple of days. I'll put some photos on Facebook or something or Instagram. 
um, or a story or something just to show you guys an update bit by bit. I'll take some film, um, but mate, bro, so excited. Thanks again to Liam and all the guys who helped out with that mower. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Oh, gonna mention, I am still planning on oversowing with ryegrass, which I'll be doing very soon. I've just gotta figure out how to water this because I've got no irrigation here. I'm almost thinking about putting in like a little makeshift irrigation system for a little bit with some stakes and some, some heads or something like that. Um, and putting it on a timer just because when you are putting seed down you need to water it all the time and I can't be moving that soaker hose like into, th it takes about three moves to get the whole water area watered um, and then I have to do it a couple of times a day as well so there's no way that's going to work so I'm going to have to figure something out to get some irrigation on this. I figured it out. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You guys have a good week. Thank you.